Hello. Hello. This is Blacky. And this is Oddy, as usual. And yeah, this is a tutorial video on how to metronomize your emerald and possibly randomize it too. From yes. a lot of aspects. So don't come asking in the comments. Watch the damn video. Yeah, just watch the goddamn video. And we're gonna start with the readme file that says read this before doing anything because the file package that you will be downloading is called Pokemon Metronome Emerald Randomizer Patch dot zip you will be downloading this you will see the download link in the description it's a media fire, fire thing and my voice sounds horrible but yep it will open this text file and it's basically a readme file that has all the instructions on how to ra metronomize and randomize your ROM and at the very bottom there are the uh, programs listed that you will need also links that will provide them for you if you already don't have them so I guess we'll s just start going on step by step on what to do um, but yeah, from this readme file you will find, like I said, the instructions on how to do this, 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 this stuff. And here, here is the thing open. Uh, you will just need to extract them to your own computer, and you will find a clean emerald ROM because you will basically need that. And then you will find the IPS patch that basically metronomes your emerald so let's just start with some uh, general things about the metronome patch so it basically what it basically does is that all the Pokemon will only have metronome and metronome will have 99 PP and they cannot learn anything else they will not learn anything by level up not TMs not HMs anything but then again, there are two HM slave Pokemon, and they are Mew and Deoxys. And they will be found from the grass in Oldale Town, next to the Pokemon Center. And they are really low level, and they can learn all HMs, but they only know Splash by level up. And yeah, they're basically useless, but they will not obey you. Uh, yeah, because they're just meant to be HM slaves. And they have base stat of 1 in all stats. So that makes them even more useless. And they give off like no experience. So don't even think about grinding against them. They give like 1 experience <laughs> per kill. And yeah, their catch rate should be really um, high. Except that we've noticed that Muse sometimes doesn't actually seem to be <laughs> that high because yeah. it's hard to catch but yeah this is kind of meant to be uh, randomized this metronome thing um, so I, I've made it in my mid so that every Pokemon uh, so far in the game has name has metronome so it's not only Hoenn Pokemon uh, but yeah Let's see. But says the readme file again. So yeah, the HM slaves can pop up in the randomized grasses if you have randomized the game. So, for example, if you're doing a Nuzlocke, you might just want to skip if you get a HM slave as a first encounter. And I guess you shouldn't be counting HM slaves as your catches since you will need at least two of them to beat the game. Um, but yeah, let's just sum up what we just learned. Only Pokemon, all the Pokemon <laughs> only have metronome and they will not learn anything else. And there and there are the HM slaves in the old old town. Second uh, town place thingy. But yeah, then to the actual thing what you're probably watching this for something uh, I can't talk. But yeah, you will need a program called Lunar IPS. And it looks like this when you have downloaded it. There is link 
for this download at the bottom of this readme file right here so you just copy paste the link and go there and download this program so you will need this and then you will want to click the apply IPS patch and now you will need to uh, browse the ROM that you're using let's see just where is my goddamn thing uh, for a million things I don't know somewhere R randomness no wait 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 what did I say wrong uh, oh yeah I have to yeah yes sorry 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 you'll have to browse for the patch that you need so it's this emerald full metronome called thing I will browse it from here because this is the right place or something but yeah browse for the patch first patch first and then just double click and then you will browse for the ROM but yeah since this basically means that you will be applying the patch to the ROM and the ROM will get overridden so if you want to keep the clean emerald ROM for later you should just copy it like I just copied one of them but yeah uh, I guess I'll just apply it to the copy here it doesn't really matter which one but yeah now it will say the file was successfully patched you just click OK and you're basically done with this program but yeah then uh, the randomizing and I'm guessing a lot of you will be wanting to do that so I will show you how to do it and depending on what you want to randomize you will have to use uh, either one or two programs and I've tested all these and they should work but yeah if you only want to randomize wild Pokemon and the starters then you will need uh, the original Emerald randomizer uh, 100 and it's basically this looks like this and you will just open the metronome drum just browse for it I can find mine <laughs> uh, yeah it's here and they're just starters you can just manually pick them or just put all them to random if you want and then just click complete ram random for randomness um, but yeah when you're done you just click save as just put it where you want it to go I'll just do here emerald randomized one there done. You say that you got the um, game there. And yeah, now you basically have a game that has randomized starters and has uh, randomized Pokemon. Uh, but then there's the other uh, option, which basically means that if you want to randomize trainers Pokemon also, that will ma make the game a lot more interesting you will want to use another randomizer called Pokemon Randomizer 1.1 and like always there will be uh, download links in the description description? I meant the readme file, sorry uh, the things but yeah in order to do this uh, basically if you want to randomize all the three things three things the wild Pokemon starters and trainers Pokemon you will need to go with these steps just ignore the first ones here of course not the metronomy um, but yeah you will have to use this original randomizer to randomize the wild Pokemon because for some reason this other one 
doesn't seem to do that even though there is an option to randomize wild pokemon but it doesn't seem to work but yeah let's just use the one we just randomized even though we did kind of randomize the starters doesn't matter um, but yeah you will have to use the second one to randomize the starters because when you load the ROM to here you will see what you would have gotten so there's really no um, uh, what's the word? I don't know. Uh, you, you can see here we would have gotten a far fetch and two mudkips since we put one of them to random. But yeah, you can just click randomize or customize if you want to basically choose them yourself. But we'll, we're gonna go with randomize. And, and then, then. Yeah, you can just click here randomize trainers, but here is the uh, tricky thing. If you go with unchanged moveset, it basically means that the trainer's Pokemon will have regular Pokemon movesets. But if you go with random, uh, it basically just changes um, movesets of basically, what's the word, already set moves. like. Gym leaders have a few moves that their Pokemon will always have, like Roxanne's Pokemon will always have Rock Tomb, yeah. Um, uh, but that should be fixed by the fact that uh, all the Pokemon's moves have been turned to metronome, but there is a bug and uh, Brawly's Pokemon, the second gym leader's Pokemon, don't have metronome. They have their original moves. And this would basically maybe change moves. What the fuck? Go away, Windows. <laughs> yeah, it would basically change the signature moves uh, of the gym leader's Pokemon. But yeah, that's the only problem you would even face with this. But uh, if you want to keep everything metronome, go with unset, un <laughs> unchanged. Yeah, go with unchanged. And this basically doesn't make any difference if you click this or don't click because you have already randomized the wild Pokemon with this other one. And yeah, I guess you might as well just have this one here and then ch just click randomize and it will ask you to name the file again let's just go with emerald randomized 2 and save and now it should be done and let's just test the thing why not it should basically work um. But yeah, if, if you found this tutorial difficult to understand, you can just read it from the readme file. That's why it's there. Yeah. If you have anything to say, feel free to say it because it's very much monologue. Well, <coughs> well, I don't know. What to say? <laughs> uh, you basically know. just uh, laid out the instructions and now uh, this is the usual emerald beginning that I think everyone has seen by now since the, this YouTube is filled with all the randomized emerald things so yeah you guys pretty much know the deal so yeah here's May and then we're gonna go out of the town but then there's gonna be a Pokemon encounter like with Birch and blah 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 oh hi 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 yes 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 oh, oh yes. help me in other words our starters should not be random we have Chinchu Wilmer and Corbish of oh, water types. <laughs> How would you know? Let's pick Jinchu and Jinchu see there's a, that Zigzagoon that will always be a Zigzagoon. But now we have Metronome with 99 PP and we can just go for it and use Moonlight and the fail. And the Zigzagoon also has the thing. And we almost died. Not really. Oh, could have been potentially dangerous. Yeah, but it almost died. We didn't almost die. Oh Anyways. yeah, there you see it. All good and working. Yeah, let's just show some 
wild folks while we're at it. See, Suskit, you don't normally find them here. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, and they have metronome, so that should be good. Come on, show me something else. Please. Absol. I'm liking that. Oh, this <laughs> thing likes to be frustrated. But yeah, it will most likely be fun if you decide to do this kind of Nazarok or something. It will surely be interesting and random as fuck. Yeah, and I'm guessing most of you will since you, I think most of you have watched Change This LP. Yeah. And if you haven't, then feel free to go watch it. Yep. But yeah, but yeah there are credits um, at the bottom of the README file and like I said like 10 times before all the links uh, to the programs provided will be here at the bottom of the readme file so uh, I guess I hope you found this video somewhat um, helpful if you didn't then I hope at least the readme file helps because I spent like a whole day working on that <laughs> and yeah but yes, have fun playing your r metronome randomized games and I guess something. Nothing else really. Yeah. I think all, everything has been said. All has been said and done. <coughs> yes. But yeah, let's wrap this one up and have fun. Yep. <laughs> Go play Pokemon. And yeah, please. Uh, if you have any questions that can be easily answered by this video or this readme file, please don't come to the comments asking, uh, uh, how do I randomize? Because it says it in here and in the video. I uh, even showed you how to do it. So, yeah. Read the fucking manual. RTFM. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's enough. Yes, we shall go now. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Or something.